who we are, American Wood Products. Uh, we're a $90 million company, so we're a privately held company. Uh, we move uh, a little over a billion pounds of material every year. Uh, if you do the math, uh, what that tells you is that we sell stuff for about nine cents a pound. Uh, so we sell an awful lot of really in inexpensive stuff, uh, which means uh, freight is a, is a big part of, uh, you know, of our cost structure. Uh, you've heard several times this is our 10th plant. We have a little over 300 people. Again, if you do the math, uh, that's about 30, you know, about 30 people a plant. So for us, uh, a big plant is like 60. Uh, a small plant is 15 uh, people. The small plants tend to turn into big plants, and that's you know that's clearly what we're uh, expecting uh, to, to happen here. Uh, we are generally located in communities that you've never heard of. Uh, the company is owned uh, by his immediate family. The, uh, they are here present. Uh, Joy is the, uh, is the predominant stockholder. She has two children. Uh, both are here who, uh, who work for the company. And that's, that's our ownership, uh, lock, stock, and barrel. Uh, Without embarrassing them, I will tell you they are a very principled family, and those principles transition into the culture uh, of our company, and it's one of the reasons why uh, I think you know, we have been successful. Uh, also present in the front row is, is my wife. Uh, she is a, her name is Karen. Uh, she is not only attractive but accomplished. And any time I can be associated with her, my image gets a lot better. So <laughs> I, try to, I try to keep her close. Uh, why we are, oh, by the way, the suit. Uh, I, I guess I need to I explain that. You know, the, I have determined as I get older that uh, if you overdress, that occasionally some people will mistake you for being important. <laughs> if you don't, they immediately assume you're part of the janitorial service. <laughs> uh, you know, why we're in California? We, we have another plant about 40 minutes uh, north of Sacramento in, uh, in Marysville. Uh, we came here, one of the very first thing I did when I came to the company 15 years ago was to participate in the uh, opening of that plant. Uh, we came to California uh, because we had customers. So, you know, we sell shavings for horses, we sell shavings for pets, we sell, sell fuel pellets, we grind up the sawdust and give it a fancy name, call it wood flour, uh, it's in a lot of plastics. Uh, so these, uh, this decking you can put on your house that looks like wood but it's half plastic, we do the, you know, we do the, uh, the wood part of that. Anyway, our customers, we have a lot of big retail customers, Petco, PetSmart, Walmart, Tractor Supply. You know, there are people who do what we do, but nobody other than us does it all across the country. So one of the big advantages that we have is that we can, you know, we can ship stuff from a lot of those places. So anyhow, that's how we came to California. Uh, our Marysville plant has been very uh, successful. And uh, we're, we're partnered with FBI and a lot of people there, and, and that's just turned out to be, you know, a really nice business. But the, in the esoterics of the shavings business, uh, things are changing. Uh, one of the, you know, the, the byproduct type uh, shavings that we have sold forever that have big advantages tend to be cyclical. Uh, because it's tied to the construction industry, you tend to get more of the byproduct in the summer than you do in the winter. And oh, by the way, the demand for the product tends to be more in the winter than in the summer. So that adds uh, some challenge. So obviously, if you could manufacture a shape rather than a byproduct, you could take some of that, you know, variability out of the out of the process. What's happened in the last uh, five or six years? is the technology that's available in order to manufacture the shavings has improved market. And so on, in the eastern part, in the central part of the United States, manufactured shavings have become very, very popular. They're almost non-existent in California. And so the simple idea was if we could find a way to do it out here, we believe that there is a demand for this product 
that you see over there, it goes samples in this market. And that this plant is going to do uh, gangbusters. And I'll be really surprised if that isn't the case. So anyway, that's, you know, that's why we're here.